see this, we all know who she is, right? If you don't, where have you been for the past 10 years? Kylie Jenner is one of the thousands of examples about how everything we see in social media is not the reality. I have to add that I do not have anything against her or any other social media influencer or the character they create around them. We can all make our lives seem as if they're all put together and perfect, and it's pretty cheap. A Pixar Pro subscription costs about five euros a month. A liposuction, on the other hand, costs from $2,000 to $6,000. And a team subscription is about 10 euros a week. Seeing this range of prices, Photoshop is the cheapest, but it is also the most dangerous. Every time we post a picture, it takes seconds to reach the internet. It's the quickest way for people to see us, to take a look inside our lives. Now, I'm not talking about Photoshop only. There are tons of factors found in social media that affects people's self-esteem. Not everything is what it seems. I'm sure we've all heard this. And as you grow up, you realize how real this is. Not only based around social media, but also on other aspects of your daily life. As of today, Kylie has 281 million followers on Instagram only. This shows the great power she holds in the social media world. It does not seem important, but when you see a photo like that one, the first idea that pops into our mind is, I wish it was me. This really affects our mental health. Because when, you, when, you're, when you're in your teenage years, you are developing your own personality, your own hobbies, and you're dealing with things such as school at the same time as your own mind. When you're my age, it seems as if the most important thing in the world is having lots of followers on social media and being known by others, or else you might feel rejected by society. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemies. Because how many times have you chosen what you post? I'm sure you will never post a photo of you crying or being dramatic on social media, since it might give a bad image of you. This is what a lot of people do. They choose what they post, to make it seem as if their life is absolutely perfect, to seem as if they don't have any worries, when in reality, we are all fighting our own battles. This is called selective posting. It's like when you take a photo of yourself and end up taking 70 photos. You're not going to look your best in all of them, so you decide to go through them and search for the ones you look the happiest, prettiest, and often the skinniest on. Yes, come at me as if it's not true. How many times have you looked at that photo and thought, hmm, I look really skinny in this, let me post it. Believe it or not, this is what is marking our own beauty standards, and we have to stop this. Influencers are paid to show how magnificent some products are. But have you been in a situation when you, for instance, order something on the internet, and when you receive it, it's the exact opposite of what you thought it was? I've been there tons of times, and I know what it feels like. We cannot assume that everything we see in Instagram is the reality, but rather what we want to see. So let's be more critical next time we're scrolling through Instagram. We fool ourselves, because we're the first one doing those things, such as choosing what we post. And then we're the first ones um, that let ourselves fall in the lives of others, thinking that what they are doing is much better than what we are. Okay, I think it's enough beef towards Kylie for today. Let's talk about other social media influencers. I did a sort of experiment. I went on the inter internet and I searched up. Inst inst influencers. These are the images I got. I know. Now you may be thinking that this is extremely toxic, but when you see these photos on your explore page on Instagram, you really think, I wish I looked like this. It's incredible that some of them are billionaires, and it's all because of us. Why may you be questioning? Well, we're the ones liking and commenting on their post of their perfect dresses, marvelous trips, and perfect diets. And at the end of the day, thanks to us feeling miserable about ourselves, they are living their best lives. This is incredible to say, but think about it. Do you know how much money they're gaining from our likes and comments on Instagram? There are people making a living out of this. See, we are a pretty hypocritical society. We are the first ones who say, oh, influencers don't deserve the money they have, or they didn't work for this fortune. And then we're the ones liking and commenting on their posts. We feed them. Without us, some of them wouldn't have anything. So what do they do with this money? You may be questioning yourself. Well, one of the things that most influencers do when they gain this tremendous amount of money is plastic surgeries. How do you think they have that hourglass body and porcelain face? Photoshop is not the only way out of making yourself look different, you know. Photoshop is temporary in a way, whereas plastic surgery is changing yourself forever. I can understand that being exposed to more people on social media can make you more insecure, since more people are pointing scars about you. 
but there's people that start modifying their body so they can create this perfect beauty standard we live around. And they do so. They definitely do so. They manage to set the beauty standards at colossal levels. And at the end of the day, we imagine these images that are impossible to achieve without their help. And we think that this is how we should look like, but no, it's impossible to look like this. There's another important factor that people tend to skip when talking about bodies, and that's genetics. People may have a genetic who makes them gain more weight than usual or gain weight at a slower pace, and that's totally fine. The thing is, we have to start normalizing this. I'm sure we've all talked to someone who we want to look like. For instance, they have blue eyes or they're taller than you, and they want to look the exact opposite. Let's use me as an example. I have a friend who is quite short and is really skinny. And she always tells me how she would kill to gain a few uh, pounds and weight and inches. Even if you gain weight or lose weight, people are still going to comment on your looks. So the best way, so the best thing is to be comfortable in your own skin, because at the end of the day, you will always have people commenting on your appearance. Now I'm going to need your help. Think about the perfect person for you, or even better, for society. You can come in with the ones um, on your side. Okay, I know the word perfect can have various meanings for different people, but when we think about being perfect, don't we all get the image of that blue-eyed blonde who is chronically skinny and has perfect teeth? Society, or may I say us, have created this beauty standard, and we indirectly preach that if you do not look like this, you're not considered beautiful. When you're in your teenage years, you really care about other people's opinions, and that's normal. But if you add to this, that you're not considered beautiful because your eyes are not a certain color, Imagine how bad you can feel because of that. Um, this does not seem important, but trust me, when you're living a situation where you, for instance, see a model on a magazine, your self-esteem will slowly decrease to the point where you will not feel beautiful without any makeup on. So, now you may be asking yourself, okay, what can I do to stop this problem? Well, first you have to admit that this is a current problem in the world, and then we can find solutions. Simple things, before, before, uh, simple things as stopping and thinking before moaning about how you don't like how you look in a dress because you saw someone on Instagram wear it and they looked better than you. As I've mentioned before, Photoshop is real. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everyone in the internet uses Photoshop, but there are certain body types you can't achieve without the help of it. As a society, we have to stop promoting this movement about making people believe that your life is perfect. Stop, think, and act. These three words can really change the world because you would stop posting things on social media you know people can misinterpret. You would think about what you have in front of your eyes. Ask yourself, do I really think I can look like this? And maybe you can. If you feel about insecure about your body, you can start signing up for the gym. But there's certain things about your appearance that you can't change. You can also think about that one person we all know who we think their life is perfect. And if you start to think deeper, you will realize everyone has problems going on in their lives, but they never post them on social media. Why would they? It's not cute. And then you will act, but act against this toxic movement, about making people believe that your life is perfect. If you're a victim of believing everything in social media, then stop being the cause of this belief. Social medias are great source of entertainment. I use them, you use them, we all use them. But what if we use the, the power they hold to spread the positivity they, the world needs these days. We should start being more real in social media, show all of our great moments, but also our not so great ones, because that way we will know what kind of persons we are, because behind the screen, everything is so much easier. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk.